Let's move some air, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Angelina Jung. I'm a junior this year, and I am studying vocal music and uh, theory and composition. I chose to double major. It was actually by accident. Um, I had kind of dabbled in composing my first year here, and I really liked it, and I wanted to learn more. And so it was only a few extra classes on top of the vocal performance, so I thought, why not? I think that will make the a piece like this really come alive, or or not, is more is in the area of, of dynamics and interpretive okay. information. Next year, I'll be spending my whole academic year in Ireland. I decided last minute my sophomore year that I really wanted to do this. As a music, music major, that's probably the stupidest thing you can do <laughs> because there are so many classes that you have to take and a lot of them are spread out throughout all four years. And so it meant having to take classes where I didn't know the material and so it overlapped. And so some things I couldn't quite understand and I'd have to have extra help. Um, I have always loved Europe and uh, being from a middle class family, traveling that far isn't a possibility. So at Manchester, since it's included in tuition and you just have to pay the passport and the airfare and any other little thing, it was a great opportunity to take. But all the professors were nice. They let me come to their office, ask questions. They helped me if I needed further work on something, then they did that. Uh, for voice, I was able to take uh, summer lessons so that way I could catch up with that. <laughs> Yeah, I was at an extra. You always said Dede. Dede is, you're the stammering queen of the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are so mad you can't even say his yep. name. <laughs> die! Die, yep. you gravy sucking, sucking pig! <laughs> yes. That's basically the translation there. Yeah. <laughs> I would recommend Manchester because it's a close knit family. You're not just a number. You're, you're a person and people care for you if you're sick for even a day professors are going to email you making sure you're all right and that you don't need anything and they will even cart you off to nurse's office if you refuse to go <laughs> so they're very caring <laughs>